Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Odin and welcome back to my channel. For today's look, we're gonna be doing this beautiful, dramatic look. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remembered, but if y'all do follow me on Instagram, I did ask y'all if y'all wanted me to do like a, a recreation of Jenny69 Quinceanera video tutorial. Uh, I got really inspired. I loved her tutorial, it was so cute and uh, I wish I could do all that, but uh, obviously no. But I asked if y'all wanted to see a makeup tutorial for prom, quinceanera, a wedding, etc. And a lot of people said yes. I was surprised. I didn't think y'all were going to be down for it, but hey. So here I am. I am actually creating a prom tutorial look. Now, I know this might be too dramatic for most of you girls out there. But let's be honest. I am a dramatic girl. I did not attend my senior prom. I know. I regret it. I do regret it, but hey, life happens. If I were to go back in time and I could go to prom, I'd probably wear something like this. Like dramatic, you know, like I want glitter. I want that dramatic eye, dramatic lashes. Cause I'm all about the dramatic life, okay guys? So yes, I think it's so cute, me gusto. <laughs> if you want to see me create this tutorial for prom, just keep on watching. To set the whole eye, I'm going to go ahead and dip into Through My Eyes palette from Colourpop and Color With Garden. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into Sandalwood, which is that bone color on the palette. On the palette. On the palette. And the palette. You know what I mean. I'm using a big fluffy brush from Morphe and it's their M533. We're just going to go ahead and pack on the color to the eyelid. I'm just to set the eye primer aka concealer i'm going to go ahead and dip into this pink shade in the palette it's like a pale pink but it has a lot of pigment i'm going to use this brush from morphe we're going to go ahead and pack on the color to the lid and we're going to focus it on the outer v and bring it in in towards the crease but using packing motions first then we'll go ahead and blend it out I love the mirror on the palette. That's one thing I love about this palette. Is that the mirror is so big. And you can just use it if you travel. If you're on, a, on the go. It's a, it's, you know, it's a pretty good sized palette. So I like it. It doesn't really matter if the shade actually gets on your eyelid. It's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and clean that up in just a minute. You might have to go back and forth, so it's fine. Just take your time. No rush. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a clean brush. We're gonna go ahead and blend the eyeshadow out. The only con about this palette, the eyeshadow palette doesn't really come with any dark brown shades, which is the only thing about it, but it's okay. We have plenty of brown shades in any palette that we find. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the Morphe palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ring the Alarm palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Secret, which is that brown shade. So if you have any brown shade like this, you can use it, it doesn't matter which palette it comes from. Using a brush from Morphe, the JH37, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that eyeshadow and dust it off. We're gonna go ahead and just pack on the color on the outer edge first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a more tapered brush. This is the JH40. I love this brush to get in the crease. It gets really precise and it gets in every little corner that you needed to get into. My nosy. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Divina, which is that dark purple shade in the palette. I'm gonna grab it just a little bit because it's super pigmented. We're going to focus it all on the outer V, tap, tap, tap. We're going to go ahead and blend, blend, blend. Now grabbing a Morphe brush M433, I'm going to go ahead and dip it back into that pink shade. And go ahead and focus it on the edges. I'm adding shelter, shelter. <laughs> I'm adding color and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. And then add again and blend. So yes, it's a back and forth thing, guys. I'm so sorry. 
I had actually recreated this look, but I didn't like it. I wasn't feeling it. I was just like, uh, I think I gotta improve. I gotta do more blending. Now, so yes. I feel like, you know, we have those days, you know, we have those days where you're just like, uh, I'm just not, not feeling it today. Then be back into the arena. We're gonna go ahead and tap on the color to the outer edge, blend it out. And once you're done blending, we're gonna go ahead and bring whatever's left into the crease. I go back into Secret with the same brush. It's it's almost done. We're gonna go ahead and cut the crease, make it more sharp and more clean. And we're gonna go ahead and add the shimmer and the glitter. So I'll be right back. Give me just a second. Wait, wait, you're still gonna see me in the process of doing this, but give me one second. We're gonna go ahead and get to it. Let me clean the brush. Now the crease is cut, we're gonna go ahead and add the shimmer. I'm gonna dip into Muse, which is that beautiful, is that beautiful, beautiful, what is it called? It's that beautiful bronze shade in the palette, Muse. It's got a beautiful, beautiful, it's so glittery. I'm making a mess. I am making a mess today. Oh, Lord Jesus. Now just clean the table. <laughs> I just cleaned my table. That's a lot of But anyways. We're first going to pack on the color without any setting spray. And then we're going to go ahead and add setting spray after we have done the first layer. Okay? It honestly does not need any setting spray. But I'm so extra that, you know, why not? You know? We're already here. This is the eyeshadow with that no setting spray. We're going to go ahead and add setting spray now. Just another, another little thin layer of eyeshadow because, you know, why not? That is done. We're going to go ahead and wait for the eyeshadow to cool down. O sea, que se seque. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Because if you try to blend out the shimmer with the matte eyeshadow, it can get really messy. So we're going to go ahead and let that chill. And then... We're going to go ahead and blend out these edges so we don't have any harsh lines. Now, to blend out these edges, we're going to go ahead and dip into Secret from the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're going to go ahead and dip into Secret, which is that dark brown shade. This is the E36 from Morphe. That's where all my brushes are, Morphe. Now, this step is optional. You don't really have to add any glitter to it, but I am such an extra bitch that I will, so yes. We're gonna go ahead and use the NYX glitter in the shade Crystal. And we're not gonna go ahead and add any glue glitter because we don't want it too intense because the shimmer is already too intense already by itself. We're just gonna go ahead and tap it on and just whatever sticks on, sticks on and good for it, you know, we're good to go. I just feel like it gives it a different vibe, you know? They're probably like, no, bitch, it's not. I'm going to go ahead and add a thin line of liner to my out, to my eyelid. We're not going to do no wing. We're just going to do a really thin line close to the lash line. The eyes are almost done. Nos falta lo de abajo. And we're going to go ahead and finish doing the rest of the face. Um, I don't know. Should I do like a talk through face or just... You know, just like I, what I've been doing. I think I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. I don't want my videos to be too long because, you know, no, we don't want them too long. We want to keep them short and cute. I'll, I'll be right back once I'm done with my whole face and I'll go ahead and do the rest of the eyes. Now, while the rest of my face is still drying, I'm going to go ahead and add a black eyeliner to my waterline and on top as well. 
So now to finish the ice, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see, what should I do? Jaclyn Hill 33 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the Through My Eyes palette. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the light pink shade. And I'm gonna focus it on my lower lash. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Davina. Now to highlight the inner corner, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Lucido, which is a beautiful gold champagne color. And I'm gonna use a Morphe brush JH39. I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and I'll be back. So this is the final look. I am in love. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it this much. I had already filmed this look once. I believe it was Monday, but I wasn't feeling it. I just... I don't know i did it and i ended up taking it all, all off i did do some things different not exactly like i did it on monday because i was like eh. mondays were was a little more more orange and i wasn't really going for that orange vibe i wanted more pink and purple and still have orange i'm so dramatic i'm, I'm so complicated but i actually loved how it turned out today i am in love with this sadly i have to go to sleep in a few minutes i have to take it off if not, I would go out like this. If you did enjoy this tutorial look, please give, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And yeah, show your girl some love. And I'm not sure when I'll have this video up. Maybe I'll try to have it up Sunday. I'm not sure. I'm busy this weekend. But I'll try my best to have it up soon. Maybe Monday. Monday, more than likely. But I'll, have it, I'll try to have it up ASAP because I know prom is coming up. And I know some of y'all are looking for ideas. So just, you know, keep in mind, like I said in the beginning, if it's your prom day, try to step out of your comfort zone. Because if you stay in the natural, say, no, come on, man. I just do something more dramatic. Do, add a little black. Add a little glitter. Because, you know, it's your prom day. You want, you want to stand out. At least I do. <laughs> At least I do. I'm, I'm more of a, you know, I want, I, want to be, I want to be seen. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.